Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Karen Curls. Welcome. Well, today we are going to get into this hair, okay? Because the last time I did my hair, um, I just did this quick bun, and it's not quite wash day yet, so I'm just gonna show you guys a quick, easy style. So if you guys would like to see that, please stay tuned. Little Karen with a pressing curl, a curly afro when it cut my hair. Not a teen when I got a relaxer. Oh man, what a disaster. 23 when I cut it all off. 24 when I got on that Let's get this down and start detangling because you guys, it's an absolute dry. Look at this absolute dry mess under here Woo. <laughs> I should really fast forward to wash day but I'm not ready I actually have somewhere that I need to be today so I'm just gonna do my hair up a little cute hairstyle and oh my gosh y'all just do a quick detangle around my hair it should for the most part be detangled because it was detangled before it went up in that bun but it's been like that for like two days so let's loosely detangle this. And there's a little bit of the gel, as you guys can see in my hair. Don't worry about that. We are going to wet it. And you won't see it when your hair is done whoo, at all. Okay, so we are going to section our hair off in the front. You can use either a regular rat tail comb or you can get one of these, which I love. It has like a pig rat tail on the other side and it has the brush in the comb and this is an edge brush. So I'm just going to section off the front of my hair, a small section of the front, not the entire front. And let's pin that back, do the same to the other side. Like, look how easy that is to get apart. Okay. And then we're just gonna take the rest of the back of our hair and take that clip out. Ah. Put the rest of that hair into a ponytail in the back out of the way. And then we're gonna take some water and wet this in the front up a little bit. So get a hair mist or any water, or you can just go to the sink and wet your hair if you don't have one of these. And then run your brush through it one more time. And make sure you're using your ends to your root. You don't want to start in the middle of the length of your hair in here and start detangling because that's how you get that fallout. And that's not good for length retention keeping our hair nice and thick and healthy okay so I'm gonna spray a little more water on the underside here Woo! <laughs> all right and now I'm going to put a part directly down the middle and guys these parts do not have to be perfect you're not even going to see them for the most part except for the front now I'm debating with you know what I actually want a side part I want a side part today, guys. So let's do that side part. Let me look down in my mirror for one second, guys. There we go. So I'm just going to clip this section out of the way. And then now we have two sections, one here and one on here, on this side, okay? One on the left and one on the right. And then we're just gonna section off another small piece of hair at the bottom because these are gonna be little left out braids that are gonna dangle from the side. So, boom. And the reason why I'm styling my hair like this is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my edges have been thinning out a little bit and I don't like that. So this hairstyle is gonna be good for that too. Um, just to make sure down in this section of your edges, you're not pulling too hard or anything like that. So another small section of hair on this side. Pin that up. So now we can work with our little plaits here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Miel Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. So I'm just going to take a 
partial, like half of a pump. And I'm just going to run that directly over my hair. And then I'm just going to take a regular brush and brush that down the length of my hair. And then I'm going to split this into three sections. Like this. One, two, three. I'm going to take the first section and I'm going to put it in the middle. Take the back section, put that over the middle. Take the front section over the middle and the back section over the middle. And I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way down this portion of the length of my hair. I'm gonna speed things up, do the other side, and then I'll be back to show you guys the front. Okay, now we have our plaid done. Let's do the top sections. <laughs> oh no. They got it they got it mixed together here, guys. Alright, there we go. So I'm just gonna pin this section out of the way. Alright. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with this section except we're not going to flat it we're going to braid this flat down now you don't have to braid if you're not someone that knows how to braid flat down onto your head you can continue to do this in the front of your hair or you can just roll it back like this super easy right and then you can make this a finger coil that's what I would do or you can put this in a flat twist which is like this separate two pieces of hair at the very front of this section twist the front piece all the way back and then twist that piece over it do it again and then grab a piece and add it to the back flip the front over and you're gonna grab a piece from the front and flip that back and continue to do that all the way down so I can show you guys what that would look like okay so it would look more like that but I'm going to braid it and then of course this would just be a two strand twist all the way down. But I'm going to braid it. So I am again going to use my meow and I'm going to just put that all over my hair. And then I'm also going to take some of my Cantu Avocado Leave-In Repair Conditioner just because this is going to be left out at the ends and I don't want it to dry out before I can style it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of some leave-in conditioner to keep it nice and moisturized. And then I'm just going to take my regular brush again. And don't worry about your edges too much. Your edges are gonna be done. We're gonna go back over that with some edge control. So, there we go. Just brush the product through. And now we are going to grab a section of hair in the front again. Separate that into three sections, just like a regular plait. And then you are going to plait that small section. Make sure the rest of the hair is out of the way. Okay. So grab it, separate it into three pieces. Make that a little plait. you guys my hair I have the fan on so it's blowing my hair in the direction I don't want it to go in <laughs> so sorry guys bear with me so yes now I have it into three sections and I'm going to start planting and then I'm just going to start adding this into my I'm gonna braid this way so it's a little bit easier all right guys so we're just gonna grab a small section in the front of that section Split it into three parts again. 
and you're doing the same thing bringing the top to the back to the middle and the front to the middle and you're going to do that all the way down until there's nothing left on this section and just grab pieces of hair as you go along from the front and from the back so when you're grabbing the back piece add hairs to it when you're grabbing the front piece add hairs okay so now we are just going to flat this down guys so this is all for in the front the entire front section complete so you can leave your braids just like this or you can take these ones tie them in the back and just have the two in the front hanging down because the back of it we're just gonna do like a quick wash and go look for the back because I don't have time for a full wash and go I told y'all <laughs> so we are going to in the back just uh oh carefully okay so in the back I could just rock it like this and go with this full on look if this is something that you like. I love full hair y'all and it's so quick and you can just accessorize the front of it or you can tie that back like I said just have the two hanging down. Put some of these on. Just to accessorize it and bring it out a little bit. Don't have to totally optional. But you can put it on to both of them. And then you can just curl along the ends or the tips of your hair down here. So just take some can to wrap that around there. And that's going to set itself. Seriously, guys. It's going to set itself. Give it a little finger twirl. Do the same for the other side. Okay. So, add some of them to the other side if you want to, or you can add a little bit more. However, you know, you want to style it, you can do that. And then you can just rock it out like this if you want, and that's just a quick, easy style to go. But I am going to take it one more step because I do have enough time to try and get some definition in the back of it so I'm going to go for that wash and go look but I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like in case this is where you want to stop you know it's your head wear it how you want it how you want it sorry guys I, these things sometimes are so hard to take apart I hate when they get stuck into each other I actually wanted to have beads on my hair today, but I didn't have time to run out to the store. I was running a little bit late, and so yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to do that. But let's add one up at the front. Okay. I like it, guys. I'm loving this. 
see look at that you can literally just wrap this like that if you want you can put another one on the bottom i'm not going to do that because they always slip off the bottom and they end up lost somewhere but you can literally let's just move that up a little bit give it you know a little something and that's it for this you guys you can do that or you can do like i'm gonna do and we're gonna turn this into a wash and go in the back okay so keep watching okay guys now to tame the rest of this beast i'm actually really loving this and i kind of don't want to change it <laughs> i love this full wild look it's just a thing for me so i'm just going to clip the front obviously out of the way and i'm just going to section the back of my hair let's grab a small section and then I'm just going to take a hair tie and secure the rest of it. So I'm going to take my water and get it super wet. And guys, my hair soaks up water so easily. It's not even going to take long for this to get almost dripping wet. Like, tell me you have regular porosity hair without telling me you have normal or regular porosity hair look how quick that was i mean look at that okay guys so now we're gonna take our neo <laughs> and this time we're gonna take a full pump okay because we're working with big sections and work the entire length of your hair but try not to spend too much focus on your roots because like we said guys we're not trying to you know soak up our scalp with a whole bunch of more products because it's not wash day and we're just doing this as a quick style to get past you know having to hurry up and do a complete wash day routine so sorry yeah we're gonna grab some can too and the avocado like i told you guys i'm gonna work it all the way down the length of my hair there we go this is super quick right guys now i'm gonna take my brush and work from my ends up to my roots but I'm not really gonna do a heavy focus on my roots okay and then to define I'm gonna take my brush and just pull that all the way through the length of my hair that's it guys that's it so I'm just gonna leave this to dry so I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of this back section I'm gonna speed it up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done and then we're just gonna go back in touch of those hairs you know okay stay tuned <laughs> the extra steps to show you guys this because I wanted to show you you could do it the super quick way or you can take like an extra five minutes because it's literally all it took me in the back was five minutes to just get those defined curls the problem is you do still have to wait for them to dry but if you're in a rush and you don't have time for them to dry I'm just looking for it you can grab yourself some heat protectant and then just blow dry your hair and then just blow dry your hair with this attachment here it's a hair diffuser it'll dry this up really really quickly and um i don't really care about that it's summer right now so my hair is going to pretty much dry outside it is going to be a little bit fuller which i'm going to be super glad about um because it's not going to be you know fresh like this and especially because it's a little bit dirty it's going to do a couple of other things but i really love the way that this turned out you guys i'm loving it so let's do something with these urges. <laughs> Babe, can you open this for me? I can't. It's, 
My hands are greasy. Thank you, dear. One moment, guys. Thank you, darling. Oh, okay. Mm, I love the way this stuff smells. I, I haven't used it in a couple of days, so I forgot. I had all that gel in my hair. But anyway, this is the Ors Olive Oil. It has the Peaky Oil. I don't know if I'm saying that right. For smoothing, which is supposed to be really good for natural hair. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. And I'm going to add this around my edges. Now, I told you guys, if you're used to my channel, you know, I don't like all that swoopy stuff. I'm not five anymore. My mom used to do my hair like that until I was like, what, 11? <laughs> Different times, though. And I loved every single minute of it. But, no, not today. Now, where's my edge brush? I can't find it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. It's all on the floor. Okay, so now we're just going to try and swoop it a little bit into the braid so it looks a little more polished and finished okay there we go all right that's it for my edges you guys I just like to clean them up and make them look nice and neat like this okay so anyway that is it now, of course, my video won't be complete if I don't add my earrings. Because y'all know I gotta be extra. I gotta be extra. Ow. I stabbed myself. How many of y'all stab yourself putting your earrings on? You know? Y'all know the struggle. You know the struggle. Alright, so. Fun. Hurry it up. Ow. Seriously, shouldn't take this long to put on earrings. But anyway, here we go. Okay, guys, we are officially done. What do you think? Do you like it? This is something you might try. Super quick summer style, you guys. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to subscribe. And also look out for a ton more videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Y'all thought I forgot, didn't you? No. Drink your water. Drink your water. Drink your water. Drink your water. Water. Mmm. Yeah. Good stuff. Drink your water. Posture. Ew. But anyway. <laughs> Toodles.